Alrighty, and welcome to my program. So we are in the basement of the lovely Lane um, Methodist Church in downtown Baltimore. Uh, we've been here before. I've got an earlier video showing uh, what was here uh, just a few days ago, and uh, this is the result of our work. Uh, so these are the steam supplies. You have a total of eight. One, two, three, four here, and then four at the other end, uh, tied off of a two and a half inch manifold, which then comes off one of the several steam mains that feed the undercroft here uh, of the sort of uh, amphitheater-like uh, sanctuary located above. You have this um, blockhouse, or one of eight, uh, this is arbitrarily labeled number five, uh, so we keep track of them. There are only two left, and they probably aren't going to get this treatment because the uh, difficulty in making this work. Uh, this is one of the two of these uh, blockhouse units which contain the pipe, uh, pipe coils, uh, which is inch and a quarter. So we've got an inch and a quarter coming off a 90, um, a dirt plug, and a uh, 122 trap for each of the coil bundles. Now, if you look at the other video, uh, four of these coil bundles were tied into a single F&T trap. And that's fine as far as it goes, but the main issue is that if one of these uh, bundles heats up fast, it gets right of way of the steam and pretty much chokes off uh, the air uh, leaving the other bundles. So it's generally a good practice to uh, trap each of the bundles so that uh, they can heat up and turn and uh, get fully hot and not get choked off. So this is the steam supply, the trap, a uh, drip connector, and then our new um, dry return and this is a dry return which goes to the boiler feed pumps. Uh, this was probably a wet return at one time, and so the way they did this was each of these coils was then uh, dripped below the water level, which was, I'm gonna, you know, who knows, maybe here, not sure exactly. And um, then the air got out of the system through these uh, air vents here. And that was good enough for the day because it was coal fired. You had steam 24 7 for days at a time. Um, now you have to turn it off. It takes about uh, four hours from 55 to get it up to 65 to get this thing, uh, get the sanctuary above uh, the temperature. Um, we hope to uh, save a little time by uh, putting this back online. We've advised the customer to uh, insulate. Uh, these pipes. This is an uh, inch, inch and a half, I believe, and that is uh, two inch, and uh, that is two and a half, and that will help uh, keep this area um, uh, cool, cooler, and not waste so much steam. Uh, there's from the inside there. So come with me, and I'll show you the uh, the coils. And you see the space was rather tight. This was not a very pleasant place to work. I've only got a little bit of clearance here and um, generally I found it a good idea to wear only a little bump cap to keep me from going uh, totally crazy hitting my head on here. And then of course I've got this fairly narrow uh, space there. Definitely a little bit more clearance now than there was when they had those traps there. Also, some of the, uh, when I chopped off the, uh, the reducing 90, a lot of these reducing 90s were lying on the side, and so literally like half the pipe was full of water and sludge uh, when I cut this open. You can see where I ground it with the uh, abrasive cut off and then cracked it off um, with the... Uh, wedges of sin there. Oh, and these are the uh, air uh, air vents above uh, 
under the sheeting. So there's the uh, dry return heading to the uh, boiler feed tank. This is a drip here of a large fitting. Wouldn't be a bad idea to insulate that too. That's a lot of heat being lost there. Uh, gate valves. And then of course, as I mentioned before, there are globe valves there for controlling the heat to e each bundle. So let's come around through here. You can see it uh, curves. There you go. See it curves around semicircular. This is a, a wooden ductwork, plenum essentially feeding the uh, warm air from the coil bundles. Bundle number five. The, the doors now are kept open to allow air to enter. And there are the coil bundles. It's one of the larger ones. It looks like the bundles themselves are one inch, but they, uh, they're attached with an um, uh, inch and a quarter supplies, uh, or uh, returns, excuse me. I hope you can see that. Uh, get a little hard to be in position. Well, anyway, thanks for joining me. And uh, <clears throat> come visit if you're ever in Baltimore. <laughs> Take care and see you on the next one.